Hello everybody, welcome back to more Fiendfolia. Let's jump in as the deleted once again. Um, we played as Hirodicamissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissimissim
Okay, no, no, but it can trade in cards. It just took my card then. Sometimes it takes money, sometimes it takes cards. I see. That's not confusing at all. This guy is not, not willing to uh, give me... Ooh! Holy, that is very, very generous. Thank you. Okay, that puts us in a pretty good spot on this floor. Um, I mean, what I could do is play the... Oh, goddamn, coming down um, affects these guys now, which is good, but also insanely laggy for some reason. I don't know what to think about that. I don't know if that lag was specific to the coming down mod there, but yeah, that was... That's kind of crazy. Um, let's let's start using this a little more, shall we? Ooh, damn. We need to be really, really careful about getting hit here. We've really not got much health right now. Why I was saying about our... Oh, dude, that was brutal. God damn, we almost died right there. Go in here first. I'm going to take this. It might be a mistake. Yeah, okay. I was thinking the 50% the tier uh, size up might be really good. And it was. Obviously, it means we can't get to our, get into our shop yet, but we've got the money to spend at the card beggars, if not anyways. So. But yeah, I was like, oh, will this just make my uh, scythe way bigger? And yes, yes, it did. Very nice to see, very nice to see indeed. Also helps fate, Fate's reward as well, so that's good. Yeah, so maybe we won't get a key. We'll, we'll check for latch key here, why not? Let's pop that as well, actually. can't remember exactly what you do. Okay, I, you're actually a pretty easy boss for us because we can literally hit you away. This will be a fire rate up as well, which is rather nice for us. And yeah, let's go spend some of our money on the card beggar boys and see if we can get anything good out of them. Because there is some insanely good cards. I mean, even <laughs> unlikely as it is getting something like a... Um, what's the one that drops two soul hearts? Whatever that one is. Not the lovers. We can give him a lovers. What are you giving me this time? Death? Ugh. Something a little better, sir. He might even pay out as well. This guy can pay out with dice items, I think. Ooh, teleport size up to a black market. I'll keep that on me. Um, I'll start trading this one away now instead. Couldn't have been a waste of money, but I'm playing into this guy to see what we can get out of him. Wheel of Fortune. I don't really know what these guys can pay out with, but... I'm committed at this point. I want an item out of him. They take a lot of money to pay out though, don't they? Holy. This dude is just chomping on my change. This has been honestly duty dog shit right now. These guys are not worth playing, I don't think. I can't believe I haven't got an item yet. It ju just seems like a way for re-rolling cards, but honestly, I'm not impressed. He's not giving me a single good card yet. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> Converts all bombs into troll bombs. Super useful. Algis? Ugh. I mean, I guess I'll at least go use the algis on the curse room, but that really was not worth the money that I paid in at all. Keep forgetting I don't have flight. Also, this was worthless. Wow. I'm so happy that I spent 25 of my hard-earned coins on this guy. Hot tip, people. Never, ever play these beggars. They are utter trash. I thought I would have got an item payout by then or, like, something, but it seems to be... A random amount of coins between 1 and 20 to get your card re-rolled. And it oftentimes doesn't re-roll into anything better than what you gave it. it. Needs to be some sort of hierarchy system. The reverse joker's good. I'm happy about that. But that at the moment is entirely useless. Because um, we just don't have the health to, to utilize it. Now I can't remember if this guy can... I um, can't remember if this guy can get red health. I'm pretty sure he can, but I'll be honest, I don't 100% remember. Hey, there's that key. Okay, we are 
just moments away from death now. I should try and use the throwing more often. It might end up doing me well. Especially now that it pierces. I don't know if it always pierced or not, but... Right. In here we go. Um, that doesn't matter for us right right now. Don't know what this does. Let's have a look-see. On use, hold above your head. While held, tears and lightning will fall from the sky near you. The rate of which these appear increases the longer you hold it up. Um, the longer you hold an item up. It can be held between rooms and remain and will maintain its current charge. Intriguing? This does not seem very good. Now nah, that this item is I That item is big stinky cat dookie. That that item is not good. I will not be using that. You can't fire while you're holding it, of course. Um and it seems that the rate at which it, uh, the rate at which it pumps out lightning and stuff is pretty slow. Okay, now this, this is going to be bad. Okay, that was nice. We got him. Min Min is a special case that I was going to say requires me to use a bomb. I tried that and just completely missed. I have absolutely no idea what this version of Min Min actually does. So forgive me for uh, being incredibly scared. It seems it just shoots at me, which is not terrible. But I also don't know when it shoots at me, the timing of any of it or anything. So just hope and pray that I don't die. Oh, it gifted me a soul heart for killing it. Okay, I love you version of Min Min that I've rarely fought before. Beautiful. Don't you try and smack me, boy. Don't you try and smack me. I will not take such slander. Oh, for fuck. Having a very... Dude, what? How did that hit me? Having a very hard time as this guy right now. Worrying. I'd like some health, please. I'd also like some frame rate. God damn this game. Why can't I just play with mods in the... Oh, for fuck's sake. We're definitely going to die here because I, I do not really remember how to fight this guy. I can't remember what many of his attacks do and how to dodge them. It doesn't seem all that bad, but I said that before and regretted it. What the hell are you doing, boy? I'm killing the little sperms that he's spawning because I think that's the best way for us to survive. Okay, we got him. We got him. Don't suck me off. Whew. The stress that I'm feeling right now is unprecedented. Um, max HP. Thank you. We can have red health. Good to know. We also got um, um, immune to curses grants a blessing each floor. That seems pretty positive. The blessings seem very, 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 very powerful, so... Anyways. Let's continue on. Very cool item. So what blessing we get this time? Blessing of Enigma. I'm actually going to have to go and check what some of these blessings do, because I just do not remember. Um, blessings. The mod's just called, like, Some Blessings or something along those lines. Just Some Blessings, that's what it's called. Blessing of Enigma. Every item shifts between it itself and its opposite okay so basically i'm guessing that the um the opposite means it's id opposite like as in like it's spin down sort of id opposite i don't know if that's exactly true but i'm gonna just pretend it is right Ooh, that was an unfortunate timing to use this uh active there Ooh, my little baby dudes have sides. 
That's so cute. My god, look how tanky these motherfuckers are. Oh, this is this is excellent. My my little babies have sides. I love that. Alright, good, good. Get in there, babies. Okay, that room kind of very much sorted itself out for me. I'll take a death card. Um, I should take the death card and use it, but I just want to hold onto my joker so I don't forget it. Because you know, you know my brain's small, and I will forget it. Extra bomb there, lovely. Oh, at the minute, I'm just hoping for the best. I'm, I'm going to see what our item room ends up giving us here. Oh, you had to have Cricket's body, didn't you? Cricket's body's a really tough one for us. But luckily, you died pretty fast. Okay, this guy's going to fire Herming shots. So... Oh, damn. I got caught by a shot there. Uh, I mean, we might as well go do the boss now. Why not? Damn, got to remember that I can't, um, I can't get near the creep. Weird that, like, some shots, like those those fat dudes uh, on the downpour have coming down on them, but shots like that don't. Like, that seems a little inconsistent to me. A bit strange. Okay, we got him, we got him. And we got whatever the fuck that is. What the hell? What the fuck? We got more of the void out of this somehow. I don't really know how. We'll take the vanilla wafer, I guess. It keeps throwing it in our face, so why not? I have absolutely zero idea what this item is meant to be. Um, I don't know how this is the opposite of Mum's coin purse. Uh, that, that doesn't really make much sense to me. It doesn't seem to do anything when I use it. I guess I gotta use it in a combat room and see if it does anything. It might just do nothing. It might be some sort of placeholder item that we wasn't meant to see. And I'm, I'm honestly going to guess that's what it is because it's not doing anything yet. Now, the question is, should we be using more of the void? Now, I think the way that we use more of the void is we use it upon room entry and then we uh, then we continue as normal. So we, we sort of prepare it for when we enter a room. But otherwise, we just kind of leave it as is. Bomb that real quick. Leave that there for a second. I did not mean to pick up red stew, but honestly, very, very happy with my decision. Ooh, what the hell? Um, using my Malak Mot there set off... Um, it automatically set off... Oh, no way! It automatically sets off more of the void when I use it. It's got like a little synergy there. That's really, really, really awesome. I love that. Oh my god, this room. No, thank you. No, thank you. Thank God I had a soul heart there for that. That's really cool that we don't have to worry about charging up more of the void, really. Oh, my God. Please, no. Oh, how did I not get hit there? Depression and Guppy's Pride. Guppy's Pride rents a Brother Brobby style familiar upon pickup at the start of every floor. Nice. We'll take it. It's a guppy item as well, which is pretty nice. Oop, I wasn't prepared for combat here. Oh, no. I'm so close to death here. Um, I think we take the spiky ball, to be honest. I really hope I don't die. I would be very upset if I died. Right. Spiky ball's good because she could have destroyed blocks for us every now and again. It's such a cool run to die on, so don't. Just don't. I kind of like these runs, though, where it's super low HP. I'm a little bit worried. Well, I said worried. I'm a little bit annoyed that we're going to lose so much of our red stew because we picked it up so late. I didn't even mean to pick it up, so I'm kind of kind of happy. Oh, look at that. Give us access to that uh, key that we wouldn't have had access to otherwise. And a pill that I'll take. It's a speed down. See, guys? Always take pills. They're so good and fun. 
like, like getting a speed down. Isn't that enjoyable, people? Okay, now we've got fortitude. Um, so what we got here? Fortitude. Da -da -da -da. Blessing of fortitude. Gives way for effect for the first hit every room. Not particularly helpful on this floor, but nice. Oh, God. I was not expecting you to do that, sir. <gasps> hey, we finally got one. And it was a damage up one as well. Pretty nice. Good. I love the fact that it auto triggers that. That's so cool. Ooh, triple A battery. I I have no idea if it'll work, but if it if it lets me charge Malik Mock quicker, then it's it's a must take. I don't actually know if it will work to do that. Oh, these guys are the the creepers. Yeah, I don't actually know if it'll work to do that. Uh, if it'll give me Malik Mot charges, but I, I kind of want to find out. Red rune there. Okay, can unfortunately spawn hosts every now and again for me, though. Not as big of a fan of that. Nice, nice, nice. I can't tell if Malak Mott is charging any quicker with AAA battery, but I'm going to keep it anyways. The other trinket, although it's procced once, isn't really that helpful. Cell heart's fine for me, thank you. Oh shit, I went for the wrong one. Gotcha. I'd probably take the bomb. Hmm, okay, this is interesting. The the chain item, you can actually utilize it to destroy every rock in the room if you have the patience. I did not know that's the way it worked, but it literally destroys the rock the moment that you um, enter the room, and it destroys a different one each time. So we can abuse that. Um, Yeah, I guess. I can't remember what this really does, but I'll take it. But I can overheal. It did give me a heart as well, which is nice. But yeah, if we find a tinted rock that we don't want to spend a bomb on... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now. Doesn't actually seem to give me... Range doesn't seem to give me any benefit. Looking at that there. My ghosty boy died. Wap. Wa da 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 Ooh, honestly, more of the void. Such a clutch item to pick up. Definitely don't think my active does anything at this point. Um, we keep going and we'll see what our next blessing ends up being. I really like this blessing item. Very, very good. We get ourselves the blessing of friendship. Let's have a little look-see. Uh, blessing of friendship. Spawn a mini Isaac at the end of each room. Now, that's fantastic because we've seen that the mini Isaacs use our sights and I really love that. So spawning one at the end of every room is my favourite thing ever. I absolutely love that. Now, when are we actually going to bother using our uh, card that sends us to the black market? I'm not 100% sure as of yet. We really should think about using it soon. I just want to get a little bit more HP under our belt first. Wait, what? Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Right, I've got to lead you out and away over here. Worst enemy ever, by the way. There you go. I, I was a bit confused for a moment then, but I didn't see the button. Metronome is technically better than this, so I, I will do that. We got ourselves. A secret disc, which we'll just pop. And we'll take this back. I'd like to take the, the dice shard with me, but... Well, the, the glass D6 basically a dice shard, but I'm not going to... Oh, maybe waste a key. How dare you, game. How dare you. 
Do we have flight now? Because our body is missing. Ooh, hello. That was rather peculiar looking. Just use metronome whenever. It should be that metronome pops up on your screen to let you know that it's working, but... Like, to let you know what item you got. Should, should like, pop the item up on screen, but... Sadly, it doesn't. You just gotta watch for whatever holds over. We've got tank boys. Oh, are these copter boys? Is this, like, a, a different version of tank boys? I've never seen that before. Ooh, we got a Gestapo machine. Hey. Takes away five cent and spawns. Um, yeah, I'll, ta I'll, I'll take that out. Also, I realized that Gestapo machine is not what it's called. Do not say that. <laughs> I just can't remember what it is called. And that was the word that came to mind, which is not great. It's not great of me. Speaking of, has anyone seen the film? Is it Jojo Rabbit it's called? That film was great. I haven't seen it in a really long time. I saw it when it came out, but that film was really good. Just a pill. Hematemesis. Oh, we overfilled our heart and got an extra heart container. Nice. Okay, these guys are going to be annoying. There's a lot of um, a lot of poop action for them to go at. We're just going to have to let them do their thing. I think they're kind of just acting more as timers than actual enemies. Which is kind of frustrating, actually, because they're going to take forever to get through all of these poops. I'm going to clear the room way before they clear out all the poops. But you do you, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. I thought I could maybe intercept him. I could not. Anyways, get gone. Fly on out of here, little fella. Oh, there was a soul heart in that room there. I do like myself some soul hearts. I love enemies like this that use, like, the, the tile set. Use the things on the floor. I think that's something that Fiendfolio does a really cool job of. Oh god, that was close. Oh, hello. Kind of blended in there with that colour. Hoping for more money so we can use our uh, our little machine more often. Because it, it, it doesn't take a charge, it literally just takes five cents, so the more money we get, the better it's going to be. I think we can keep this throughout the run and be pretty happy with it, to be honest. Why do I always pick the door that she doesn't poke her body part through? I love the fact that we get the more of the void damage, and then, of course, we get the fire rate as well. Pretty awesome. Nice one. Um, I think we're going to take the damage, honestly. And then we got Magneto, some Bad Fly, Anima Solar, and Slippy Heart. Unfortunately, nothing there that I'm particularly invested in. Uh, but what I will do is I will take the Baron Fly and then use the Joker card. Oh, I think we got unlucky here. Oh, no, we didn't. There's still items in here. Good, good. The fool. Right, what we got? <sighs> Abandoned box. One's a random familiar from the current room's item pool. Give it a go. Greg the egg? Why not? I think we'll be taking our leave now. Not, not bad, not bad. Not exactly what I was looking for, but... Greg the Egg and the Baron Fly. Blessing of friendship once again, so that's our mini Isaacs coming back. I think we got... We got a clot spawned. I don't exactly know where we got a clot from, but... I will accept. Don't know how we opened the secret room either, but also, I will accept. We have a lot of uh, a lot of these cats following us now. And spawn a void blood machine. I still don't really know what I, what I use these for. Scary. <laughs> they scare me, is what they do. 
Skull X boy, you need to get out of here. I hate you with a burning passion. Of course, the one that actually pops its head up, uh, tail up even, is too far away. Don't be a shyster. Thank you. Pain in my ass. Nice, we got quite a lot of money there. But we also got the uh, really good item here. I really like this this stone boy. He just freezes things in the room by looking at them. The Gorgon's gaze sort of style. I really like that. Nice, okay. Ooh, thank you for the penny. Now we can go pop, pop, pop. We got ourselves shot speed, range, and we picked something up that I didn't actually get a chance to see what it did. But it got absorbed into our body. Must have been good. Oh, look at this heart fellow. What the hell? I've never seen you before. Greg the Egg's just pooping stuff out for me. Oh, you should get absolutely demolished, good sir. Yes. Smooth stone. That's really nice. And I will check out this as well. Tier size up, just that in itself is very much a um, reason to take it. Also, a dark bum here, pretty good. But um, I think tier size up, pretty good. Although it doesn't seem to have increased my sight size. I, I have to say, I have to say, I'm a wee bit disappointed that the the item that is literally a scythe and scythe tears didn't do anything special to my scythe i don't know if anyone else follows me in that train of thought but for some reason i thought there would have been some special interaction with getting death's touch while playing as this character that literally uses a scythe maybe that's been a bit too hurtful but the first thing I thought when I saw the item, I was like, ooh, actually, wait a minute. This could be very special. Look at the gaze, dude. He's just freezing everything. It's beautiful. Push. Eh, we could smell something onto ourselves, but honestly, we don't really have the money to do that. And I don't even think we have the need. I don't actually think this trinket's doing anything for us. Which again would be another thing that would be nice to see. Greg the egg gonna poop out a poop out a something or other for us at some point. Okay, now that was a lot of damage. Damage wise, we are doing significantly better than last time. Down we go. Before it was taking us a while to kill stuff. Now, we're kind of traipsing through. Blessing of Fortitude. That's the way for one. Now, this this time around, Blessing of Fortitude is actually very good for us. So, not going to complain the slightest. Very happy to have it. Very happy to have it indeed. Now, I don't know what these guys do, but I'm willing to bet we don't want to find out. Okay. Oh, God. Ah! Ah! That was so confusing. I know you used to be out fire, so I'm going to try and kill you before you unfreeze. Honestly, the Gorgon dude, he's so good. Oh, God. I don't like them burns being herming. They were never intended to have herming. The game did not like it. Oh, dude, I didn't think he could reach me. Bugger. But honestly, right now, the fortitude thing has been has saved our life already. Which is rather nice of it. Unfortunately, we have done a cardinal sin and gone the wrong way. Very upsetting. Now, this will not be the correct way, I guarantee it. But, I have to try. Actually, it might, it might end up being... Wow. Honestly, the damage we are outputting right now. Even though that damage stat isn't crazy. It's pretty nice. Can't believe we haven't found much more money yet to uh, to play our machine. 
I'm hoping for a lot more. One second. One second. Let's carry on. Okay, we got to fight this guy now, which I wasn't planning on, but honestly, knowing this run, it was kind of bound to happen. Now this bit with the with the lasers and stuff isn't going to go through well. And remember, it only applies to the first hit with the fortitude thing. So there's a good chance that we die right here. Right, but what we need to do is we need to be ready and then wail on him. Thank God we used our uh, Malak Mot right there, because that literally, it literally gave us the health that we needed to survive that. Um, and gave us the invincibility frames to not get hit there, so very, very nice. A little bit scary. I do not know what's going on with these enemies, by the way. Just willing to bet I do not want to find out. Damn it, all the wrong way. All the wrong way. All the wrong ways. I'm just going to go the all the wrong ways. Why not? I've committed. Now, this one might not be. It might have been the other way that I went that was misleading. Nope, it was this one that was misleading. Damn it. This looks like a room that I could get hit on easily. Goddamn little ghosties. Back off. And oh, we're getting him. Room drops his keys. Where's the money? I realize normally on these floors we don't want money, but this time around, I could do with some. I really could. Ooh, he's opened up. I do not like that. Hey, there's some penny roonies. And there's a webbed heart, which for some reason turned my black heart into a soul heart. I don't like that. Oh, God. That was not what I was expecting to happen there. Scythe v Scythe, let's go. God damn, I love this character so much. Okay, now this is... This is something else. My goodness, I did not like that. <laughs> that was a experience on... Oh, no. I was just about to say these enemies can hit me pretty easily. Now, they don't do what they used to do. They have been changed, but they're still pretty hard. Now, health-wise, things ain't good. I'm probably going to die here, if I was to bet. I don't really remember how to fight you Satan very well. Yeah, we've already been hit once. You Satan's pretty strong. Yeah, I thought so. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was a lot of fun. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.